I recently did a video on how hydrogen peroxide can be used to kill algae in a pond. And in that video, I talked about how it seemed to me that the pebble in the pond became cleaner after I used it. So I wanted to test it on this pond to see how it would go at removing the buildup of mulm all over the rocks and the bottom of the pond. For this experiment, I'm going to use sodium percarbonate rather than liquid hydrogen peroxide. So here's a look at how much mulm buildup there was on the day that I applied the sodium percarbonate. I applied it all over the surface of the pond. I used five or six teaspoons. The pond holds somewhere between two and three thousand litres. Instantly after application, the mulm starts rising to the surface of the pond. As the sodium percarbonate reacts with the mulm, it produces hydrogen peroxide, which is water and oxygen, and it also produces sodium carbonate. But it's the creation of the hydrogen peroxide that is lifting the mulm off the bottom. You'll need to net out the, and remove the mulm that floats to the surface, otherwise it's just going to sink and return to the bottom of the pond. I'm just using one of those pool skimming nets with the really fine mesh. I also turned up the pump volume so that everything was being pulled over to the skimmer and then pumped through the bog filter. The next day I flushed out the bog filter and cleaned the sponges in the skimmer as they'd collected a lot of muck. The treatment also unblocked a small splitter line that hasn't ran for at least 12 months. I spent about half an hour netting the pond. I wouldn't add this and then walk off. You really need to be there to collect the muck. Apparently sodium percarbonate is sold by many pond brands. However, they add the branding and mark up the price, but it's really cheap stuff. I brought a kilogram for 10 bucks at a brewery shop. It's used to clean the brewing equipment. It's pretty common stuff and you can find it in lots of places online. I'll leave an Amazon link in the description if you can't be bothered searching. I'll also put a link to a koi forum where there was very interesting discussion on its use in koi and aquascape style ponds if you want to go for a deep dive. One of the talking points was about how it raises pH and drops the ORP reading of the pond immediately after use. These were the readings of the pond when I tested it a few weeks back, a pH of 7.25 and an ORP of 3.23. Immediately after treatment, the pH shot up to 9.4 and the AWP dropped to 81 millivolts. But the next day, the pH had returned to normal, but the AWP was still lower, but it was higher than it was after treatment. So here's a look at the pond the next day. It's not spotless, but there's a noticeable improvement. For those that are worried about the pH spike, Apparently it's safe if the pond has no ammonia. The form I link to goes into more detail on that. At the rates I dosed at, it seemed to only really lift off the fluffy light mole. The biofilms on the larger rocks remained. It's also supposedly safe for the biofilter, hence why I kept the pumps running during the treatment. From what I can tell, the treatment didn't harm the fish, the snails, or the shrimp or mussels that call the pond home. Again, it's probably not something that I plan on using all the time, but it's a handy way to keep hydrogen peroxide. Because it's in granular form, it can store longer than liquid hydrogen peroxide, and it's much cheaper to ship. I hope you found both these experiments helpful. As we've seen from both of them, hydrogen peroxide can kill the algae and it can also lift the mulm from the bottom of the pond. Remember, the aim of this channel is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. So if that sounds good to you, feel free to subscribe and visit my website, ozponds.com. It's also worth pointing out 
that mould and algae play important roles in the pond ecosystem, and I don't think you should ever try to completely eradicate them. I have many videos that talk about finding the right balance and having things work in harmony. This was just a fun experiment. If you did find it helpful, leave me a comment and be sure to tickle the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya.